It's not just the core of the Libre that has some enhancements. Let's talk about the improvements that we have in the PDM as well. In a Libre PDM, I have a simple carburetor and I can open it up and take a look at it. And perhaps I'd like to change the color of this item. And then I'll go ahead and save. And this is where a few things come in. I'll check this into the safe and when something is getting checked in, I can add a version comment. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now when we go to our PDM, I have my version comment here, so I don't have to just rely on this part of the PDM to add version comments. Now another thing is maybe we've reviewed this and we are good to release it. Well, let's add a revision. It becomes even easier because now in my versions I can right click and add a revision. And sure enough, the revision just numbers it up from the current revision automatically. So I'll apply a revision change. And of course I can remove the revision if that was done by mistake. But with this current revision, I'll also note that once something is revised again, now I cannot remove uh, previous revisions or anything else because uh, once we revise it, we have a record of it and so it's not changing. We don't have to worry about accidental edits, right? So our previous revisions can be kept track of in the versions of our parts, which is fantastic, right? Because I don't want to send something to manufacturing and then lose track or record of what was sent. Now also in this versions tab, I have this new icon right here that I can view constituents. And what's great about this menu is not only can I view the constituents and see the subassemblies and whatnot, but I can also know what version there are and how many versions of that part there are. So I know that this is calling on version four out of four for the car body. Now, if I wish to delete my car body right here, a Libre won't let me, right? The OK is grayed out and it uh, kindly informs me that the file is being referenced by other files and it's not going to let me break my own files. But uh, this can be kind of a, uh, a problem because what is referencing this? If I really want to get rid of this, how do I know? Well, now we have this magnifying glass and it tells me not only what assemblies are referencing this, but I can also see what versions. So version one of my part is being ver referenced by version one of my carburetor assembly. And version four of my part is being referenced by versions two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight of my carburetor assembly. So I can tell what version is being used by what. That means that I can go to my carb body and say, get rid of version three. So we are able to purge versions here, right? I can right click and purge version three. And this is a new feature. I can permanently delete specific versions that I wish to get rid of. And now there's no more version three of my car body. So if I make a terrible mistake and I don't want my boss to see it, I can certainly get rid of my mistakes. <laughs> or for whatever reason, I would like to purge certain versions, probably more commonly to be able to get rid of old versions or assemblies that reference this part. Now you'll notice I have a column right here for revisions. So I know that my carburetor is on revision six. And of course, if revision is important to me, I can put it in a new spot but we can add our custom columns. Or our version comments or whatever we'd like to, to see. And then when, when we close down the Libre and open it back up again, we can see that these columns will persist. So now we have persistent columns of whatever we'd like to display in our projects. And so we're able to trace and search parts a lot more easily in the PDM. We hope you enjoyed the enhancements.